Hello and welcome inside another episode of the Sherwood Park Crusaders pregame show. My name is Zach Lars, bringing you this one from the Randy Rosen Rank here in Sherwood Park, Alberta, where the Sherwood Park Crusaders are getting their morning stretch underway in anticipation of tonight's game in Black Falls with a date with the Bulldogs. Now Sherwood Park comes into tonight's contest with a 17-13, 2-1 record, good enough for fifth place in the North Division coming into tonight's contest, trailing the Fort McMurray Oil Barons by four points, but Sherwood Park does have two games in hand, so they will look to cut into that lead here tonight. Meanwhile, their opponents down south, the Blackfalls Bulldogs enter tonight's matchup in third place in the South Division, trailing the Okotoks Oilers by just two points, albeit with an extra game played for the Bulldogs, meaning that they will remain in third place regardless of result tonight, but the Bulldogs do have the second best offense in the South Division as with the most goals scored other than the high-flying Brooks and Bandits. Now these two teams haven't matched up quite yet this season. This will be the first of two matchups. This one coming in Black Falls next one Monday, February 20th right here at the Sherwood Park Arena as both teams look to kick off their new year with a win. Now let's head to the pregame interview with head coach Evan McFeeters on how he felt his team played last Friday in Spruce Grove and what he's expecting out of the Blackfold Bulldogs here tonight. Joined now on the Crusaders pregame show by head coach Evan McFeeters. Evan, a 5-3 loss to the Spruce Grove Saints on uh, Friday, December 30th. How, what'd you make of your team's performance in that one? A bit of a slow start here. Obviously everyone knows that Spruce Grove is a good hockey team, so uh, a couple mistakes they capitalized and we were a little bit behind the eight ball going into the third period, but our response uh, is something I'm pretty proud of with our group. We talked between the dress room that there's there's really no quit in our group, especially that we have our full roster back for the first time all season long. So uh, our response to the third period was nice. We get tie the game and then unfortunately a little bit of a breakdown off a face off with two minutes left, sealed the game. But we battled back. We, we almost salvaged a couple points in that hockey game uh, against the best team in the, well, on paper in the uh, up here in the North Division. So uh, tonight we're going to make sure that we clean up those mistakes and then go and move forward. So what's the game plan to hand again to tonight's matchup with Black Folds? Uh, they got, they've scored a lot of goals in the last little bit here. I think they've got something around 20 goals for in their last two games, three games. So let's limit their offense. And we can limit their offense by managing the puck and the managing the game. Extending our shifts is going to be a bad idea if we have to defend for too long and uh, making sure that we, we place pucks behind their back end and force them to play extended shifts in our defensive zone. And, and from there, we can manage the game and, and get our, uh, our changes in and make sure we've got fresh bodies over the boards. You mentioned the fresh bodies. This is the first of four games in the next six days. What do you need to do to manage the energy levels? It started a couple days ago, uh, or about a week ago, coming back from the break, just our conditioning level and making sure uh, our players are back in shape. I know that the Christmas break for a lot of guys is a time to unwind and relax. So uh, we push the guys pretty hard coming out of the break. We managed the ice time well against Spruce Grove here. So now we got four in the next six with a little bit of travel in here. Uh, it's our, our group's used to it. We just got to make sure that uh, our focus tonight is getting the two points and making sure that uh, our minutes are spread out. We're not just burying guys uh, into the 30-minute range tonight. So we want to get guys around the 20-minute range in the back end and uh, all of our forwards into the, about the 12-minute range minimum up front, and we should be good to go tomorrow night as well. First game back with the full lineup was on the 30th. Now you got your second group with what should be the main roster moving forward. What is that? How does that affect lineup decisions moving forward? Yeah, it's finally the, the what we wanted to build in training camp here as a coaching staff. We wanted some internal competition and we finally have it. Uh, so guys are going to be moving into the, I guess, certain spots in the roster and they got to keep those spots. Uh, whether it's a role on the a power play or the penalty kill or five on five importance, it's their time now to uh, continue to, to build on their game but also help our team establish role and identity and just knowing that there's guys that are really good hockey players uh, that are healthy ready to go and take their spot in case of uh, any sort of slip up so the internal competition is going to push us it's going to make us a deeper team and hopefully a tougher team to play against all right thanks to this coach good luck tonight thanks zach and that'll do it for another episode of the sherwood park crusaders pregame show puck drop is 7 p.m from the eagle builders center in black falls alberta if you can't make it down to black falls for tonight's contest you can catch the action on hockey tv for all of us in the sherwood park crusaders organization we appreciate you tuning in and we will see you at puck drop